I can let go of the breath now. I told you you can hold your breath. I can Cat Williams be arrested again by the time you get her to let go of that breath. <laughs> Cat Williams is arrested this time. Because when I heard it, I said, I'm not going to make a video. Because this could be a prank. There's no way that somebody could be this stupid. And they was like, yes, they can be. They can be Cat Williams. And I'm like, nah, nah, he's, he's just not that stupid. they like, well, hold on now. He is <laughs> that stupid. He just reacts to things because he's dumb. He needs to, to try to get something going. I'm like, well, by now, everybody's hip to his game. Well, you got a few stupid people. It's the Illuminati. You know, they just want to take anything to the Illuminati. You trip down some stairs. See, the people, they out there get you. How do we know he just tripped? Did you see him trip? I'm telling you, they got people, man. I'm telling you, they got ways. The people. <laughs> so, anyway, what happened was they had a reservation at this place to uh, have dinner or whatever. And his members, uh, his party shows up and they're sitting in the section that's supposed to be reserved for them. And then the manager tells them that they're sitting in seats that are reserved for another party. So they move. But they're on the phone with Cat. So when Cat Williams get there, he's livid because he had an appointment or he had a reservation and thought that the, those seats was for them and he had it reserved and he asked for it. Him and the manager gets into a little bit of an argument. Cat Williams grabs the salt shaker and hits him in the mouth with it and supposedly, reportedly, allegedly, busts this man's lip open. So they leave after the incident. Cat Williams and his crew, uh, family members or friends or his party or whatever, they leave, go to a, some type of bed and breakfast place down the street, and that's where they got arrested. Now, <sighs> this man is a complete moron, we know that. Um, it's like, how much can you keep doing before they finally put you behind bars for some years? You know, before he used to do this stuff, and it was like little misdemeanor stuff. He paid a little fine, but he go out and make some money, and he got some stuff. There's stuff going on in the news, cat, that you can use for your comedy stand-up. You don't have to keep creating the comedy. I mean, make something about your house. I mean, anything. I mean, change it up. You do not have to keep creating. Go home and write. Actually write the comedy down. I mean, we, his delivery is great. His, all you need to do is write. If you write, you'll be, you'll be on point. I think you'll come up with something creative and you can write, get a pen and paper and sit down and do something creative. Instead of spontaneously coming up with stuff just to get some money off the stupid people who come see him. Because people, people pay money to go see Cat Williams. You know, they pay their money to go see this. And I'm like, you you basically doing the same joke from 08. You're just switching it around. I keep telling people, he come to your town, Cat Williams going to do whatever it is that he needs to do to get the joke over. If he's in Chicago, I've been to many cities around this world, but I can tell you the realest city I've ever been in right now is in Chicago, Illinois. You know, and Derrick Rose, you know, I don't know what's going on with Derrick Rose, though. I don't know if he's playing or he's hurt. He's always hurt every time I turn around. Derrick Rose is hurt, but I know one thing. He's going to represent Chicago because he represents Englewood. And, you know, everybody, yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy, man. He riding with me. You know, he come in here all the time and just come in here and BS and talk about the people for about 20 minutes. Then he's going to do another 10, 15 minutes of maybe some jokes or something he saw on the news. And that is it. Cat Williams show. But I'm like, you can sit there and do comedy. You don't have to do this nonsense circus stuff. 
Then your next stand up, I went to a restaurant because I thought I was going to be able to get a seat and get something to eat. I reserved my spot, but I guess that's illegal now. They say, well, if we feel like giving the reservation to somebody else, we reserve the right. I had a problem with that. Then the manager tried to treat me like I was the N-word and then called me the N-word. So I said, mm, shake it like a salt shaker <laughs> and hit him with a salt shaker. <laughs> I mean, we all, we all know what Cat Williams is going to do. This is another special, another city. Then you're going to have all the stupid people that went, Man, Cat real! He keep it real, though! Keeping it real, going to land his butt in jail. And then you gonna, he going to blame the Illuminati, and y'all going to blame it. Because he hear the stupid stuff y'all say, It's the Illuminati! So he calls it the conspiracy tour. Because <laughs> he knows y'all are stupid, so he just capitalized off the stupidity. So I, he must be a mad genius, but when he goes to jail... For it, and he won't be so much of genius. He'll just be mad. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just done talking about Cat Williams. I mean, really, I don't. It's like you can't say I'm trolling him because he's putting himself in the news. I was doing something else entirely. <laughs> much stuff I'd rather be doing than talking about Cat Williams. So I'm out.